G'day mates and welcome back to Empires of the Undergrowth. We're in, what are we, in episode 3 now. Uh, and today we're going to be attempting the Formicarian Challenge number 1, if uh, pretty much guaranteed to fail this one, simply because I have no food stockpile, well below my expected population maximum, and, uh, and it could be a bit of a challenge coming up. So if you'd like to see me struggle, definitely stay tuned. If struggle is not your thing, then next episode I will be attempting the Formicarium Challenge, assuming this one fails, and definitely passing it next time. But let's see how we go. I th there is a small chance I could pass this one, but with no food to replace losses, I think it is highly, highly unlikely. We can get maximum of uh, three soldiers and one worker, or some other combination replaced here. But either way, let's go in and see what happens. I think it is time we connected the Elk World to the feeder colonies. I want to see how these Erectors respond under pressure. I will prepare the experiment. Let's begin with a small threat. We're connecting the Fusca colony now. I will let ten through to start with. Okay, let's take out the Fusca black ants. There you go, that wasn't too hard. The Raptors identified the threat and responded very quickly. Excellent. Let's see how they handle a few more, shall we? Introducing 20 Formica Fusca ants. Let's take a couple more out. 20 then, this is going to be more of a challenge. Now oh, there you go, I think we handled that one quite well. That's not too difficult, they should be able to cut through. Ooh, she's doing a bit of damage to us. We've lost quite a few guys. Ooh, this is going to be tight. Look, keep in mind, these are soldiers attacking us. And uh, we've got, uh, most of our numbers are workers. Our Eraptors have neutralized the threat to their queen. Good. Continue the experiment. Let me know the results. Don't add more than 30 ants at once, though. We don't want to harm the queen. Understood. Ooh, 30. It could be difficult. Hmm, I wonder how they will react to a rival Oreptor colony. Introducing 40 rival Oreptor ants. Wait, 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 what? 40? 40? Oh god, here we go, guys. Now it's this bastard, he's got free reign. He's gonna rip us apart. Excellent! Introducing a further 50 rival Oreptor ants. Oh, 50 mate, Jesus, come on. At the very least, these guys are only the workers. The Oreptors are, they are little worker dudes. So, see if we can hold them off, but our numbers are dwindling. We haven't got much left. See if we can fight them back. Surely this is the end of it. Okay, we managed to hold them off. Brilliant, we barely survived. Fascinating. Now, let's try 60 Raptor Ants. Oh, come on, no, this is in the end. I don't know if we can hold this off. I'm gonna charge them, do the best we can. And looks like their numbers are beginning to overwhelm us. I don't know if we can hold on much longer. There are almost no workers left. Only a couple of soldiers left. This could well be the very, very end. 
Oh, no, I think we've managed to actually fight them back. Good stuff. There we go. Victory. A superb response. Oh, excellent. A little bit of food. But hang on, that's not the amount of promised food that they said. They said we get like 2,000 food. I wonder what happened there. A combination of a raptor and a fusca. Let's start with 20 of each. Okay, and this is the end of it. This is where we fall. In this case, we're gonna have to actually fall back underground, I think. We're gonna bring our guys back under and see if we can hold them here. Uh, don't lose them, fall back, guys, fall back. Nah, we've lost them. Okay, those six up top are gonna die. Let's see if we can hold them underground here. Force us right back to our queen at this point. We had a little bit of food to get some replacements, but unfortunately we've got no workers running around to actually uh, replenish the lava. I could probably take a couple off, but I think we're gonna need everyone fighting. Uh, this guy actually managed to hold on for a long time up here and fought them back, bought us some time for our soldiers to kill off all the black ants down here. An unconventional defense, yet highly effective. Well, surely that's the end of it. It's interesting to see the colony fight on two fronts. Perhaps we should try 30 of each. Okay, here we go. If I had a big supply of food, we could have fully replenished our soldiers, but this time I think we are going to be completely annihilated. We've got nothing left to really stop them. We'll see whatever workers we've got left, bring them back into the fight and do what we can. And there you go, we like that, we've been completely destroyed. They've broken through, we've got no more food to replenish ourselves. It's our last ant going up to fight, and now they're gonna kill our queen. The queen is in danger. Perhaps I should stop the experiment. going on? What happened to the Queen? The ants were weak and confused. We should start again with a healthier colony. Very well. Purge the former carrium. And there you go guys. That is what happens if you fail this mission. It's game over. Defeat for Formica Erepta. But I can thankfully just reload back to immediately before I took on that challenge. Uh, I hope, unless the patch has changed something, in which case I have a few hours ahead of me. Nope, things are all good, excellent. So we're back to where we were. We've got effectively no food. And off screen, I'm going to have to do a couple of missions. I won't be doing the challenge ones just yet because they are slightly more difficult for me. Uh, and I haven't really found an effective method uh, to reliably win them at a harder difficulty every single time, medium or above. Uh, easy, still fairly easy, but it's, it's almost too easy. So we'll see how we go. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. We'll take down the former carrion challenge and we're gonna push it all the way to the end next time. Take care guys, I've been Bill like said. This has been a particularly short episode of Empires of the Undergrowth. Uh, smash the thumbs up button if you do indeed enjoy it, of course. And uh, thumbs down button there waiting if you think this is a little bit dull and boring. Drop a comment, at least let me know how I can improve it. Anyway guys, take care and I'll see you next time.